Can the foods that we eat influence our mood? So it's widely accepted that a healthy diet can promote our physical health. However, recent evidence is now suggesting that the foods we eat may impact the way that we feel. This year, we're seeing a wave of new products hit the mainstream market, all claiming to boost your mood and reduce stress. However, a lot of these products are based on science that is still emerging and therefore we're still unsure how these nutrients may work and therefore unsure about the claims around mood at the moment. From a nutritionist's point of view, it's often the more traditional dietary approaches that can have a greater impact on mood. Has the science explained the link between food and mood? The science of food and mood is still yet emerging. It is often quite difficult to measure mood states in populations, especially when you compare it to other measures of health, such as muscle health and heart health that have clinical biomarkers to measure. However, there is still some interesting research ongoing. The gut-brain connection is one example of this research that is generating a lot of interest at the moment. The connection between the gut and the brain has been known for centuries. However, in the past decade, we have seen an explosion of research looking at the science behind this connection. Have you ever had butterflies in your tummy when you're excited about something? Or had that gut instinct when making a decision? What we now know is that the gut contains millions of neurons, so many that it's often called the second brain. And this second brain is home to billions of bacteria. This is known as our gut microbiome. And some science has shown that individuals who are suffering with um, anxiety, low mood, and even depression can have a reduced microbial diversity within the gut. And this is interesting because foods um, that we eat can in fact impact the microbial diversity and therefore may be able to impact on mood. At present, the best way to improve your microbial diversity is to eat a wide variety of plant-based foods, fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds. These provide fiber and polyphenols that feed and diversify the gut bacteria. Fermented foods are also another way to support your gut microbiome. These are things like yogurt, kimchi, kefir, and kombucha. And interestingly, probiotic supplementation is showing some evidence that it can impact on mood and anxiety. And this area of research is known as psychobiotics. It's still at the very early stages at the moment, but definitely an interesting space to watch. Another area of interest in the food and mood research space is the area of nootrophics. Nootrophics comes from the Greek word, which literally means mind turning. And these are plant compounds that are positioned to improve your mood and as well as your cognitive ability. So many of these plant compounds come from complementary medicine. Some popular ones that you may have heard of are CBD from the hemp plant, which is thought to relieve anxiety, as well as L-theanine from green tea leaves, which helps with mental clarity as well as relaxation. The anecdotal evidence around these compounds is quite compelling. However, the clinical research still needs to verify these effects. So at the moment, we still need to understand the mechanisms behind these compounds before we can make any claims with regards to mood. What foods can you eat to support your mood? There are a number of simple dietary approaches that we can all take in order to improve our mood. One of these is to drink plenty of water. Hydration is so important. When you're thirsty, you're actually already dehydrated and this can lead to irritability, mood swings and lack of concentration. So aim to drink at least two litres of water per day and avoid caffeine and alcohol. 
Another approach to improve your mood is to consume lots of complex carbohydrates. These are things like whole grains, oats, fruits and vegetables. And these supply a steady source of fuel for the brain, which is a really energy demanding organ. These also prevent any sugar crashes from happening and keeps you alert and in a positive mood. The final approach to take on board is to ensure that you're getting lots of vitamins and minerals in your diet. These are important for the production of neurotransmitters in the brain. And one of the most well-known neurotransmitters is serotonin, often known as the happy hormone. B vitamins are essential for the production of the serotonin and you can get B vitamins in a wide variety of foods. So choose foods like poultry, dairy, oats, bananas and soya. To sum up, the science is exciting but it is still emerging and there is a lot of attention and interest in the role of food on mood. Things that you can do to promote a good mood are drink plenty of water, choose complex carbohydrates and eat them regularly throughout the day, and eat a varied balanced diet with lots of fruit and vegetables. All of these things combined will help to promote a good mood.